another day, another dialogue with your homeboy Jermaine and getting this vlog started off in the city. I'm already on a caviar order now. I'm waiting outside the restaurant. I showed up a little early. Wow, the bike is doing great. I had to go by the hardware store earlier this morning and get an extra nut and a few wrenches and I was able to, you know, get the bike back together. So the only thing I got planned for today is I want to go down to the Uber office and see if I can get my account switched to Biker. See if bikers receive the boost surges. Because if I get the boost surge on a bike, that would be legit. Like I wouldn't rent a car. Now I also tried to rent a car. They're currently out of rental cars. I tried the Fremont location and the Burlingame location. So I'm gonna have to wait on that for a minute. But I was also just thinking of just renting like a random car and just to do it for caviar food deliveries. I could totally do that. That's definitely an option. I may do that in the next couple days. We'll see. Pick the food up and it's much, much easier going up this hill, vlogging at the same time with an electric bike. I'm just cruising up this joint and the drop off location is not that far away. As soon as I get up this hill, I'm gonna just uh, cut the motors off and just cruise down the hill because I want to save the battery because I'm gonna have to go over to the Uber office later and Uber office is down this big hill and I'm gonna need to save the battery to get back up that hill. Yeah, I am loving this sunny California weather. So nice out today. Almost at the drop off location. Man, that order took so long to drop off. Standing outside calling the client, she's not answering the phone, I'm calling the buzz thing, that's not working. And then she calls me and says, hey, try the buzzer again, try the buzzer again, it's still not working. Um, I call her back, well, can you come down, I can't come down, I'm in the middle of a meeting online. Okay, so I wait another five minutes and then I can, then I'm able to sneak into the building. Alright, done with that order. Caviar has since been kind of slow, I haven't had any other requests popping up. Let's go down. Just finished up another caviar order, and since the good bonuses are done, I've noticed that there's hella jobs popping up. It's really busy right now. But I think I'm gonna go grab a quick bite to eat and head down to the Uber office so I can get that out of the way and uh, yeah, see what's gonna happen next week. It's about that time, it's falafel time. I can take this helmet off and chill out for a little bit. I'm like super hungry right now. And uh, yeah, let's see if see what happens. Just walking out of the Uber office. So check this out. The boost surge now works for bikers. So uh, I don't know if I'm gonna rent a car with uh, the whole Hertz deal anymore. Looks like I don't have to. The huge benefit of renting a car before is to get the boost surges and all those incentives. And now you can get them on a bike. So I can use Scoot and do deliveries. That's what's up. Darn, look at this, it's hella late, it's hella late. So I got off BART, came over here to Lane Splitter Pizza, hit up happy hour with a friend, had a beer, had a slice of pizza, had a whole bunch of breadsticks. Now it's time to head back to the house. Vanessa got back in town yesterday. She went straight to her cousin's house. Her cousin lives about an hour north of here. Her cousin lives in the mountains or so. So Vanessa is coming back tonight, and it's gonna be awesome. This is the first time I've seen her in a couple weeks. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go home and get ready to see my baby boo. Yo, right now I'm at First Friday in Oakland. This happens every Friday. And I don't usually come out to this because I always forget about it. Or I'm usually in the city working. But uh, yeah, right now I'm out checking it out. I was supposed to meet up with uh, one of our roommates here maybe in a minute. Yeah, we'll see what's popping later. Oh, what? Yeah, what is this? It's a sparkling flavored water. Oh, sparkling flavored water? Uh -huh. That one is a raspberry iced tea. Huh. Oh, thanks. I'll check it out. <sighs> Don't know where to begin right now. Let's just, uh, let's just spill it. Let's just throw it out there. So, last night, well, no, let's not talk about last night, because it's still tonight, right? Right now it's, what, 425? 
So I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Vanessa and I, my girlfriend, we officially broke up. If you've been following my vlogs, you totally know that I was, you know, traveling throughout the US the past couple weeks. I'd visit my friends, my family. I went to New York, I went to LA, I went to Nashville, I went to Memphis. I had a nice little US trip, tour, whatever. Well, my girlfriend on the other hand, she was doing the same thing in Central America. And we both left around the first of this month. And you know, before we left, we sat down and we said, look, um, we're gonna be faithful, right? We're gonna be in this relationship. Um, we're gonna, you, you, like, we're, you're not gonna cheat on anyone. I'm not gonna cheat on anyone. You're not gonna cheat on anyone. We're gonna be cool when we come back. We're still gonna be in, in a relationship, right? So yeah, that was the plan from the start. That was the get-go. and. Me, I kept my end of that bargain. Like I was, like I went out, traveled around the whole time, met cool people, met some really, really hot chicks, met, met some chicks that, you know, I wish I could have got it on with, you know, met some pretty interesting girls, but I did not cheat. Like I didn't cheat, like I, I didn't meet anyone, I didn't hook up with anyone, I was a faithful dude, right? Last night I met up with Vanessa, the first time since our trips, um, and it was like, when I first saw her, I just knew that, yeah, something's changing. So she explained to me that, you know, she wants to move back to this island. I'm not gonna say the name of the island because I don't want, I'm just not gonna say it, but she wants to move to this island and she wants to break up. And I'm just like, sort of like, I knew this was coming, um, the place, yeah, I knew this was coming. There's one reason why I, I don't really like the Caribbean so much. I don't know, maybe I have to talk about that in another video. But, but when she told me she wanted to go to Central America for a month, like I already knew it. Like I just knew it because, see, I'm a dude and I've traveled a lot in Central America. And I know one thing, when single women go down there, they go down there for one thing. They go down there to meet other people. They go down there to meet other locals. But usually how that works is it work like this. Single women will leave the US, they'll leave Europe, they'll go down to like Central America, they'll meet a guy, and they'll hang out with them for like a month, or two months, or three months, okay? Maybe the girl booked a trip for like a month, and then they flew down, and now they stay for three months. It happens all the time in those countries. And usually what happens, the girl leaves, goes back to her country, and the guy stays there in his country. For some of these guys that live on these islands, it's the best thing ever. Like there's constantly girls coming that just wanna hook up with them and then they leave. And then a few days later, there's more girls coming just to hook up with you. And then those chicks are leaving and like, I'm no fool. I've traveled to so many countries and you know, when Vanessa said, oh yeah, I'm going back down there. You're going back down there to do what? There is absolutely nothing to do here. There's not even a beach on this island that, that you're staying at. So what are you gonna do there? Like, I'm not stupid, I'm not a fool, okay? Maybe I looked really young. Believe me, I'm much smarter than what I look, okay? So she comes back and, you know, she's like, yeah, I think we should break up. I'm gonna go move down there, I really like it. I don't like it here anymore. And I'm like, okay, okay, okay. This is all new for me, like, this is, I kind of figured that this would happen, but at the same time, that was the thought in the back of my mind. I didn't know, like, hey, this is really about to go down. But yeah, it it, it just really went, it really went down that way. So we are like not a couple anymore. I don't exactly know what's gonna happen. I don't know if I'm gonna just move out in like a week, or I don't know if I'm gonna stay here because she wants to stay here for a month, and she wants to leave the country again. Um, I think this may have something to do with Donald Trump being elected. Honestly, like, I'm not a fan of Donald Trump, but, you know, I'm not going to leave my country just because Donald Trump got, a, got elected. Like, that's something I'm not going to do. And to all my subscribers out there who don't like Donald Trump, how am I, why am I talking about Donald Trump right now? I think this got something to do with my relationship with my girlfriend. So to all my subscribers out there that don't like Donald Trump, I want you to look at it like this. Look at it like, okay, we're on an airplane, and Donald Trump's the pilot. Do you want him to crash the plane or do you want him to fly the plane, land the plane, and we all live to see another day? That's kind of how I feel about it right now. And for the most part, like I don't care about the presidential election. I mean, I'm happy enough that I live in a blue state. 
for crying out loud. But back to my whole girlfriend drama, I don't know. I have to see how it goes. Um, I'm, it's weird. Like I'm, I'm back on the market. Like I'm single. Like I'm totally looking. I just downloaded Tinder, and I was going through, and I'm like, oh yeah, the Tinder days. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I'm still awake. I think I'm gonna go to Starbucks and have some coffee. Yeah. I don't know how, when am I gonna sleep like I'm sorry to make this like super depressing video but you know guys you you guys deserve it like you you deserve to know what's going on in my life like I make vlogs every day and this happened today and I'm here to share it with you guys so I don't know like I'm just gonna hit the ground running like I'm not really beat up about it like I'm a little stunned that like you know, this person that just got back from out of town, we're not gonna be like hanging out anymore like we once was, but I'll move on and I'll find someone new and yeah, life will be fun. But for now, I think I'm gonna wrap up this video. Hopefully I didn't make any of you guys cry or anything. <laughs> but uh, yeah, stay tuned to tomorrow's video. I'll get some sleep eventually. I'll go to the city. I'll definitely do some Uber Eats because I got my account switched today to a biker and I'll just talk about that all in tomorrow's video. Enough for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Peace. Good night.